Guys, I just wanted to take a second and thank some people that have been helping us move the truck along. That This has helped us to uh, make this trip possible. Um, Richard is a video I got here. He's someone that we met. He's a um, follower and offered a ride. He actually picked us up at Skidaway and uh, took me back to Dallas Bluff Marina. That was a big help. And then we got Scott. Scott uh, has a YouTube channel, Scott Hollywood Outdoors. He helped me move my truck as well as lined up some fishing trips. And then my brother, Jimmy. I really appreciate them. They are helping us to make this trip possible. Some people were asking, where is the truck parked? That's where it's parked. So far, I don't see no tickets and it's still there. So <laughs> I figured that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna look, see if it's still there. That's the cool. Well, I don't know if you. Oh. <clears throat> so I got invited today to come to this Marine Education Center by a name guy named Todd. He's a follower, and we're gonna go out on a boat, and they're gonna get shrimp, I guess, for the um, for the Marine Institute, as well as they do some science, some studying of it, and what have you. So we're coming into the parking lot now. So we'll see what the, how this is going to work out. This is Katie. She's uh, going to be helping out with, uh, I guess, tell, uh, explaining some stuff to us and what have you today. Yep. Cool. All right. How long you been here? About three years. Okay, cool. All right. What, where are we at actually right now? We are on Skidaway Island. Um, and we're on the, the Marine campus here, um, part of UGA and part and owned by the Board of Regents of Georgia. So UGA, University of Georgia. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you've been here, you said about three years or so? Yeah, a little over three years. Um, I work as a Marine educator, so I get to go out on boats and talk to people of all ages. How oh, cool. And I also am our volunteer coordinator. So I get to work with the community as well. Cool. So it's a beautiful campus, I can tell, right on the, what river is this? Skidaway River. Skidaway River. Awesome. We're actually anchored just down at the next bridge. Oh. I'm really excited about this. Uh, I've been trying to get on a trawler just, you know, just to go out. But so this is a double whammy, get to uh, get some uh, educational aspects to it as well as going out on the trawler so. so is your trawler a working trawler or uh mine's really called modified. a cruiser okay mine would be a cruiser we have a i got twin 350s in it okay and uh her name is good times we started uh we're doing the great loop are you familiar i am and we started in tampa and we're working up here now we'll be heading to new york to winter the boats okay and in 2022 spring we'll jump back on them do the great lakes portion down mississippi and then probably break it into one more year and winter the boats in uh, Tennessee River. So, oh, that'll be beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Quite an adventure. Yes. What inspired you to do the Great Loop? Interesting story. Um, so when I, I was a fireman, a retired fireman. Go ahead. Yeah, you go for it. Oh, okay. I bought a boat uh, on eBay, sight unseen. Uh -huh. And me and two of the firemen flew up to Niantic, Connecticut and got on the boat and drove it all the way down did it in two weeks and i got wow. hooked i knew then i was hooked and um so i've been working for the last 25 years trying to be able to get able to do this so here we are well i'll tell you a little different in florida yeah about eight feet different uh-huh about eight feet different yep uh, I'm just going to bring these with. Is that okay? Todd, I know that's here. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. All right, Todd has been a follower for a while, and he's uh, reached out to me and offered this uh, ride out on this trawler. Your yeah. boat captain. Yes, sir. Cool. Looking gonna, forward to it. It's going to be great. You know, I've been trying to get on one for a while anyway, so this worked out. Yeah. Well, unbelievable. You not only get to run the shrimp trawl, but get the education as yes, well. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Just what we said. How you doing? Hey, 
Miss Ann Lindsay. And I'm Mike Steen. Nice Pleased to meet to you. Pleased to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming along. This is Natalia here. Natalia, hi. hi. Nice to meet you. Fellows. All right. Okay. And um, what's the plan? What are you thinking today? Well, we're going to get underway and go out to the Wilmington River, which is just around the corner. Right now we're in the ICW. We're going to skirt out around the corner of uh, Skidaway, Modena Island. Cool. And we've got a, a known trawl spot that usually is free of snags that uh, we collect our organisms for exhibit and for, for uh, food for the exhibit. Very so, good. <laughs> yep, we're going to go out there. Maybe do, we we'll probably have time for one trawl and, okay. and see what we can do. Awesome, good yeah. deal. Yeah. All right, I'll follow y'all. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Right. Or you're gonna, I'm going to catch the lines. So. Okay. Come on up, Mike. All righty. We'll just do a real quick safety briefing awesome. just so you, you know where everything is. You're, yep. a, you're a boater, so you know what they're, what they're for. But underneath those uh, deck boxes there, we have our life jackets. They're just like these, uh, these orange life jackets up top. Mm -hmm. And there's another one over here. So Good deal. Uh, if we have any kind of general emergency, that's where we would get our life jackets. We have the two life rings, one here, and this one here has a, a uh, lifeline. So if, uh, I'm going to be working the back deck, so I'll have a life jacket on. If I, am, if I am to go in, you know, man overboard, mm -hmm. you know where the life rings are, and whoever's captaining Ann will probably maneuver and swoop me up. But uh, in general, we're just gonna we'll, we'll stay within the confined spaces of this area and, Very good. and keep it safe. Sound absolutely, good? absolutely. All right, well, I'm gonna fire it up and we'll get underway. All right. Just B roll some yeah. of the close rounds. Yeah, I understand. Is. All good. Get as much as you need. Uh -huh. Alright, How long have you been doing this, Todd? We've been running research boats for about 22 years. Um, but I've been here for about three years.
when it's on the bottom? Uh, just by the amount of cable paid out. Deadliest catch is just where the lobsters just flow out of the. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a trap fish thing, right? All right, guys, this video is reaching uh, over 15 minutes, this part of it. So I'm going to have to break this part into two videos as well, and it will start again on the next Great Loop Series Part 4. Y'all come on that back. And just see what's in that net. Last time on the Great Loop 2021 Part 3, we got up early and made our way down the coast. We stopped in Placida and thought we were going to anchor there for the night, but decided to push on down to Pelican Bay right at sunset. Just making it in the Pelican Bay, that's, it's off in the distance, you'll see it as we get closer. So I wanted to give you an overall look at kind of where we are in the trip at this point. We came out of Tampa, worked our way down, 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 and the last time we were in a little town called Placida, which is right there. All right, we came on down through Charlotte Harbor, came down, 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 and that sunset you've seen was right here at Gasparilla Island looking out across the pass. We continued on and we came in right here, and this is called Pelican Bay. We were anchored right here in this video. This is one of the things I didn't have time to do is put paint on the top of this. <clears throat> of course, I gotta say, this is a great place to be doing it. What a view. So those that have been following along will recognize that this is the top that holds my solar panels. And as you can see, they're not on there yet. 
I knew I would have time as I was underway to get some of these projects done, but we wanted to get started. So here I am doing some painting and we'll then put on the solar panels. Sometimes folks, you can't have everything just perfect. Sometimes you just gotta get that adventure going. Hey, Captain Mike. How you doing? Good. Where are you headed? Right here. Cool, cool. Where are you coming from? Charlotte Harbor. Nice, okay. Glad you came out. Yeah, yeah. I'm no work today. I'm uh -huh. retired, you know, just goofing off. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Cool, cool. Uh how many cars or whatever set up when we're driving, we need to lock the shaft and set it as a chance to damage the transmission to three spool. I don't know. I have heard that. Yeah, yeah, but when I say I like Taking the dogs to the store and going to look exploring. We ain't done none since this trip started. Well, Marty has, I guess. I haven't. Very little. Now yeah, we're right here at it. What's that? We're right here at it. Now I've been seeing a lot of fish popping this morning. Yeah, Wait. So we were anchored right about here. And this little hole, I've been seeing it on the map and several times down here, it never took the opportunity to go in there and look. So we decided to do it and then went over to the dock where we could walk the dogs. These adventuring dogs. In one of the books, they kill somebody right here. They, oh yeah, oh man, yeah, more. Sitting on the building. Yeah. Well, let's go up in there and look at it. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a house. I know, dude. What's up? Yeah, probably Ranger Station or something. Yeah. Yeah, remember it was a house that rented. Uh, that they would stay in. Yep, yep. Sure, if I trust them, it's hard to be private. I didn't know. Let's just eat by this one just to see. Maybe there's a spot we're not seeing. boat's been there a long time and it doesn't say private it's worth a dog walk I think 
He's around here. Let's see. Just make sure. Yeah, I'll just assume go over to the other place. It's like a boat. That's pretty crazy. I think the dock is legit. I think it's. I think the dock is uh, fine. Interesting how they put the. Yeah, I know. I'm not going around. All right. Uh, he's like, I've had enough. Crazy, still in shorts. It's a full winter time. little dog walk, get off the boat. I'm trying to think, is that the first time I've been off the boat since we started? Have we stopped anywhere? We've not. We haven't stopped anywhere, have we? Not, we ain't been docked anywhere. I brought him ashore. Yeah, but I'm saying that's the first time I've been off the boat since we started. Yeah. Still got your sea legs or what? <laughs> no, I, well, I was feeling swimmy up there. Yeah. Uh, when I was reading, the, I was like, oh yeah, it's there. 
cakes for people that don't know there's a feeling called being swimming you feel when you get off a boat you feel your body it still feels that rocking it's very slight it makes some people sick i like it i call it stillness disease huh i call it stillness disease and all of a sudden your world stops doing this your brain is still going <laughs> yeah i like it i like i it usually will last about a day or so after you're off a boat pretty cool though what a beautiful morning i hope this holds i don't want to take no chances on that hole over there we can go that way if you want to leave uh, no. <laughs> there's a hole over there that way to go out is it's very shallow but yeah, we're underway. Um, Pelican Bay. Got a beautiful uh, sunrise this morning. Next stop, somewhere down by St. James. Right down by 